Hi guys, welcome back to Shingy Academy. I'm Paul Andrews and we've been away for quite a while because we've been busy filming online courses and building other things and life just gets in the way sometimes. But we are back and we're gonna try and give you some really interesting content from now on on a regular basis. So um, tonight, to get us back into swing of things, I want to show you a little technique which has a crossover from the days when I learned Japanese Kenpo, but you see it all over the place in Xingyi. In Xingyi, we don't potentially call it anything. It's just the principle of body movement, uh, mechanics, and application uh, it just crops up all over the animals and um, the technique that I'm trying to uh, get across to you today is this okay so this is how we practice this in in camp in the Kempo style we call that the um, gagete we're starting in Xingyi from our tiger embrace position like this so it's a rounded position and essentially all we're going to do is let one hand drop and one hand come over so in this kind of if we do tai chi or you've seen tai chi almost like a hold the ball position here and we can exchange that position okay right now i'm just using the arms but you really want to tie that into your waist movement and your body movement so that when this overturns it's the waist that's driving the arms once you're down in this position you've got options to to move from there um, so we roll this with the waist so we're doing a circle through the waist here to overturn the hands and we used to call this uh, key turning because if you imagine you're holding a big key the kind of thing that might be winding up like a clock or something clockwork and we wind like this and then we hold and we wind and we could do this either way from left to right right to left or clockwise or counterclockwise but the idea is that there's a circular kind of thing going on and the hands exchange from high to low now how might we use this the guys have been practicing a bit in the background so i'm going to give you a couple of examples so um, i'll start with andrew but we'll bring vlad in as well so let's just take that first movement that i showed you this overturn on strike here now this is is a purely just bland technique you might think of this more like something from the five elements so this technique andrew is coming in with a strike i can overturn this i'm going to do this in two ways i'm going to do this in a in a active um yang creative controlling kind of way i'm also going to do it in a passive yin nurturing kind of way so the first one i'm actually going to do yin so as this strike comes in i connect at the elbow that's because I don't want him to fold this in on me. So when that strike comes in, I, I want to reach out and connect at the elbow, but I'm not going to stop his energy. I'm just going to keep let it keep coming. You see how I start to redirect that. I redirect it just a little bit because I'm actually going to step to the side of that as well. Yeah. So if we're on, uh, we'll just do that on this line. So you can see the feet here on the line. And as I go past it, see all I've done is I've, if you just move back again, Andrew, I just moved from this position to this position. So I'm just stepping very slightly to the side of that. So if Andrew strike comes straight down the line, I just go slightly off to the side. So I connect at the elbow, I fold over and roll. You see now where this hand is? This hand is in position to strike into the floating rib. You see the elbows pointing at the head. I can also fold to strike with the, the forearm as well. So if you do that just a little bit quicker, you get this kind of strike here okay so that's kind of a nurturing yin aspect of that because i'm letting andrew's energy continue i'm not stopping it and it's almost like it runs into this let's do this in a more yang kind of way as it comes in you see i pressed up i got my leg right in behind his leg to control him here at this position i might push him and maybe even knock him down the upper hand is always a threat so even though see i curve this in from the side it's coming up but i'm curving it in from the side so i'm starting to turn his body and this is important because this keeps his second hand away from me even if it's just for a second or two if he's gonna try and try and punch at me like one two and he steps one two then you see this turn keeps that away from me slightly and it presses him away so you come in i go in uh, push through it. He, he threw that one out and it missed me. Just missed me. Okay, so it comes 
tucked in. You can see I'm catching the knee slightly. It's not enough to, to trip him up or overturn him, but it's enough just to disturb him a little bit. And once I've hit him and he starts moving back, once I got him on the back foot, I want to chase him and take him down um, with more strikes. So let's just do both of them again. The yin one, where I fold and the strike comes up naturally. And I do the yang one where it comes up and I strike into here. Let's do those okay. again. So, I do yin, slide past, and yang, drive in. Okay, so in both instances we're turning over and then striking in. Okay? So you could see that as kind of a bland, generic kind of uh, kind of application. In some ways the driving in one has got a little bit of the feel of Shingy's chicken, the rooster. So we do that one again, you got this kind of like drive in, snap. He, he likes to use the palm, he likes to use his hard um, but relaxed striking, driving through with short energy. So um, as that comes in, I break up here, so I'm using this up and through and then snap hitting into the floating rib down there, potentially breaking it, okay? So that's just one kind of idea. But the idea is you roll and strike. So once more, you roll this, strike, okay? So let's bring Vlad in. Thanks, Andrew. So Vlad's got a different style of fighting, different frame. And what I'm going to do here is more what you might see in Shingy's Dragon. Now, Dragon's quite difficult to apply. A lot of people misunderstand it. You don't often see applications of Shingy Dragon online, although you might see things like this. People doing these kind of dragon stepping. Um, maybe even see people doing this kind of thing where you jump. But you very rarely see people showing how this might be used for real. So. We use this kind of action again, but we're going to do this in a different way. So in this kind of case, uh, Vlad's going to strike in at me. I'm going to connect with his arm. I'm going to use this hand to overturn. Okay. So before I was using this hand to come and overturn up and round. This time I'm going to come from above and overturn downwards. Okay. Lad's quite strong, so um, you, you're not seeing a big effect in there because he's, he's, uh, he's I wouldn't say, wait, he's a little bit tense, but he's keeping his structure, okay? So rather than break through, you get a big effect. I'm just getting it out of the way enough. It's still trying to hit me though. Okay? So he tries to hit me, it goes round, okay? So at this point, what I'm doing is I'm connecting here I'm going to overturn here. And now, because he's strong, I don't want to muscle him here. Yeah. If I try and press through that, it just becomes who's got the, the strongest physical strength. There's a little bit of structure and positioning involved, but I don't want to rely on that. So I overturn this, I use this to come in here, yeah? And now I'm going to strike with a flat edge. It's a variation of Petran, but horizontally I'm splitting through his position. So I come in here, I go for his head like this. And see what he's instinctively done is he's lifted his hand. That's good. It means you don't get hit. So I come in here and I want you, I want you to try and stop that. Okay. So I come in here and he tries to stop that. Okay. You see here, this is where Dragon switches. Dragon tries to set up traps. So here I might press this down. So you see now I'm going to reverse this and strike in here. So I do that once more, I've gone one way here and I reverse this here to hit there. As I do that, I'm going to do something else with the feet as well. So I'm going to go here and I take this here and as I come in, you see I just hook his leg. So I strike him as I hook the leg. If he trips, if he falls, that's a bonus. I'm not particularly bothered. I'm going to hit, sorry, <laughs> I'm going to hit him with this anyway. I was just a little bit over eager there. I got him with the edge of my hand. So once more, over, he's, he's blocked that. I press this down. You see, I'm not particularly pulling this too much. I'm just pressing it into his shoulder so it's out of the way. And then you see how I bring this through. I'm just sliding past this arm. You might think, oh, what about the other arm? But 
it's out of the way you can't really do much now other than you can run <laughs> and that's what the the legs for is just to to disrupt him a bit as he tries to go away so i go one two I actually stood on his foot that time so he could go down okay so you've got two examples you go from the other side so you throw this one go here and switch to here yeah <coughs> so each time though you see over hit and then as this comes in i'm stepping in down his down his arm so that it's closing in so his arm's still out there we'll do that one. Right here here he's covered up but he's opened up here so i'll probably just hit him here and then switch him to something else okay so you see this all the time yeah we'll just give you two examples one's a fairly bland example but you could do it with a bit of a chicken flavor rooster character and the other one's dragon so you see this quite a lot in dragon you kind of switch switch the hands and chop sometimes you see it like this um well you see it all over the place in the animals you've got this kind of thing in eagle sometimes you see it like this in eagle so you see the arm the arm switching out and overturning sometimes you see it like this or you pull through with something and then strike you see it uh, quite a lot you, you see this you see in in uh, alligator here overturn here overturn overturn and here, here. And you see it a lot in Thai but you get more like these kind of things in Thai so have a go play around with it see if you've got some of those kind of movements in your system if you're just beginning with Xing Yi, then you might want to get over to um, xingyiacademy.com sign up for our email list and we'll give you a free mini course or a lesson on Ptran um, but just get started have a go okay guys uh, because we're back and we are filming content again I'm also trying to get the stuff out on patreon so if you go over to patreon.com slash Xingyi Academy you can subscribe and uh, help us out so uh, at the moment we've got two tiers one dollar a month or ten dollars a month if you give us one dollar a month we will give you a big thank you on one of our videos and on the patreon uh, community uh, if you get ten dollars a month then you will be in for a treat because we'll get, give you some extra material extra blog post articles and maybe you know, even a few exclusive videos now and again um, but basically it's the first step into becoming part of the Shingy Academy community for ten dollars a month okay now we've got quite a few people who have signed up recently because uh, it's been a while since we've done anything I'm just going to read out everybody who supports us on Patreon so big thanks to everybody here we've got Ben MC or Ben Muck thanks very much Ben we got Bill Kennedy great thanks we got Colin Ami one of our uh, regular people who trains with us so he's trained with me for years now so thanks very much Colin that's really helpful for us We've got Jeffrey Horn. <coughs> We've got another guy who we know very well, uh, Lauscher, Jonathan Dovston. Uh, thanks, John. Uh, John's usually here, but he's not here tonight. Um, Peter Clark. Thanks, Peter. Robert Forte and Thomas Zander. So these are all the guys who are uh providing us with a bit of assistance on patreon we'd love to have you on board so head over to patreon.com slash academy and we will see you next time